it's tie bug. Today I'll be doing a little makeup tutorial. <laughs> um, it'll be like a little fiery red kind of going with my outfit today. So first thing you want to do is you want to tie your hair back. Props to you if you can do your makeup with your hair everywhere, because I can't. Okay. So the first step in my makeup routine is I use the Milk Makeup um, Cooling Water, and I just put that underneath my eye here. I have a mirror right off camera, so if you see me looking over there, that's what I'm doing. And then I just pat that in. After I do that, I go in with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte uh, Primer. I just shake it up a little bit. I don't know if you need to. Um, I don't really wear a lot of face makeup. I usually just do on my problem spots um, concealer. If you want to wear makeup all over your face, go for it. No shame. I, I feel like you should, once you like do each step of your makeup, you should just let it sit for a little bit. I don't know if that's correct. I feel like you just need to learn what's good for you for your makeup. So for concealer, I'm going with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. When I went in to get the Tarte Shape Tape, they weren't selling it at Sephora anymore, and they gave me this, so I'm like, okay. Um, I'm not sure if this is my shade anymore because I've been going out in the sun a lot recently, so I've been tanning, and you're just gonna go in with the damp beauty blender and pat that in I don't wear like heavy face makeup it's very light I just do it to cover up my um, problem areas little mountain on my underneath my nose so I'm just gonna cover that up Not by any means of beauty guru but I feel like hey if you do your makeup and you do a video about it BAM you're a beauty guru now that's basically all I do for face makeup and then I'll go in with my Tarte Smooth Operator uh, press powder I'm gonna be honest with you this does have flashback and I just like haven't gotten a chance to find anything else and I'm going with a different beauty blender. It's just dry. I feel like this does better. And I don't know how to bake, so I kind of just wait for a second. And then I go in with a powder brush from Costco and just rub it in and wipe it off. The reason why I do this first, before my eye makeup, like what you see a lot of beauty gurus do, is because I get everywhere when I'm rubbing it out. And if I had my eye makeup done, that would ruin everything. Now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. something primer for the eyelids. I use a mix of drugstore and uh, not drugstore makeup. And that's it, we're done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this would be an interesting makeup look. Now it is the whole shebang. You're gonna go in with your Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. This is like one of the only eyeshadow palettes I have. I'm an amateur at makeup, I'm a beginner at makeup. So I'm gonna go in with the Sauced. After that, you're just gonna go in with the Low Blow, which is one shade up from that. And you're just gonna put that in the out, outer corner, just pat it in. We'll go back in and blend that in a little bit. This is like a tutorial for if you're just starting to do your makeup and you don't really know what you're doing because that is me, I don't really know what I'm doing, but this was a look I figured out how to do, which is like, 
I think it's like a step up from just doing regular like one base eyeshadow to starting to do a little bit more. And you're just gonna go in really gentle, like right parallel with your eye and just in the corner and in the crease. And you're still with a uh, low blow. I always see beauty gurus doing one eye at a time. And I guess that's because they have so many brushes. Whoops. And don't worry about uh, going outside of the crease or like getting everywhere because we're not pros. We go at our own speed. You're gonna go in with He Devil. This is like a reddish rust color. And you're just gonna go in the outer corner and a little bit into the crease. Uh, I, I've heard that this makeup look is like called a halo. We'll get more into that in just a second. And you wanna make sure you always have a light hand. Like you're barely touching it because the brush, is, the brush does everything for you. I don't think the amount of time you spend doing your makeup kind of changes the quality of it. It really just depends how good you are at your own makeup. And on top of that, you're gonna go in with Cayenne and Enfuego. These two, you're gonna mix them and it's gonna be in the same place you did um, He Devil. In this one, you're really just gonna stay more in the outer corner. You're not really gonna blend up into the crease as much. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I got that in my eye. Beauty gurus are so good at doing their makeup sometimes because they never poke themselves in the eye. They must just do it so many times. Maybe they cut it out. That's what it is. And um, right now it's looking a little bit rough, so I'm just gonna go in with a blending brush from e.l.f. again. Blending eye brush. And I'm going on the outside. I'm going a little bit heavier with this because I can. Bam. So now I have my NYX Dewy Finish and we're gonna use this to get our brush a little bit wet. And now I'm gonna go into Dirty Talk. First I'm gonna go in with the dry brush and then I'm gonna spray over. And then I just do like one spray. And then you just pat it to the part where you didn't really put anything. That's called like the halo, I think. Just a pop of a little sparkly color. And you're just patting it on. You're not gonna swipe or anything. Bam. And then I'm just gonna go in with my little blending brush again, and I'm just gonna clean up the edges of where I patted in the dirty talk. Because you don't want it to be like shiny shade. Shiny shade. You want it to kind of blend all together. Because that's like how you can tell if someone's doing their makeup well. Clean up, you're just gonna wanna go in with a Q-tip and then I just get it wet with uh, McLear water above and clean that up kind of so it's a sharper line. You can do it where you like do it with the tape, but I don't have time for that. Okay, and then after I do that, I just go in with a dry Q-tip to pad up where I did the cleanup because I am still working on that area afterwards. So with my blending brush, I'm just gonna go on the edges where I just cleaned up and kind of soften it a little bit. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. What I do is I just kind of swipe them up with my finger. And then I'm gonna go in with Make Me Brow by Essence, another drugstore company and you're just gonna go up. And I always accidentally get a little bit on top, so I always wipe that off with my finger. And then I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Better, Better Than Sex. I don't know why I forgot that name for a little bit. And you're gonna start at the base and kind of wiggle up. And don't worry about messing up. It's all part of the game. When I was in plays, I didn't know how to do my own mascara, so I always had to have someone help me. And then they taught me a trick where you just put it like at the base of your eyelash or as close as you can get and just blink. Sometimes I do my bottom lashes, sometimes I don't. I think when you do your bottom lashes, it gets it more... That was like a Rihanna uh, Tyra Banks reference right there. And now I'm gonna go and do my lips. I always go in first with my chapstick, chapstick brand chapstick. 
because you want your lips nice and moisturized. We have one <laughs> lip liner, so I call it my universal lip liner. Because it's like a uh, skin tone. Lip tone. As you can tell, I'm not very knowledgeable about makeup and all that. What can you do? I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. And I'm really bad at applying lipstick. What else is new? So I have an Ulta brush that I'm gonna help with it. I just broke it! Oh. oh well, I have another one. I like to have my, oh. I like to have my face moisturized and my lips. And we're done. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm so sad. I don't really have nails. If you have nails, it's easier to clean it up. But if you don't have nails, you can use a Q-tip. Or you can just leave it. I'm gonna go back in with the crease brush. And it still has a little bit of stuff on it, but I'm gonna go in in Cayenne and in Fuego back into my Naked Heat palette. And you're just gonna look up and you're just gonna get the bottom lash line a little bit. I mean, you don't have to look up, cause I didn't. But doing this, it kind of ties in everything. And then you're gonna wanna take your hair down and do your finishing spray. And that is the completed look. Feel free to add, take away, do nothing. I don't care. I'm just showing you what I did. Um, I'm not gonna be doing the ooh, ooh montage. But that's the completed look. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.